All right, you guys, good morning. Today we're talking about two versus three or even more rotor blades, main rotor blades on the helicopter. People have been asking me about this and the efficiency between the, uh, the different types and why there are different types. So let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna start with the two-bladed helicopter and we're talking about why people would create a two-bladed helicopter. Now, there's definitely benefits, but there's uh, drawbacks to it as well. And so let's go over those. A two-bladed helicopter, the drawback, of, let's start with the drawback, is that you have that possible uh, teetering, where you have a teetering rotor system, and so you have the possibility of a mast bumping, okay? So that's probably the number one thing uh, a lot of you guys know about the Robinson helicopters and the mast bumping that those have. So um, a two-bladed helicopter, as I've described in a, a different video before, you have an underslung rotor system like this, it's teetering on your mast, and so when that rotor system teeters back and forth for its flapping angle, um, it has the ability for the root of that blade to actually hit the mast and then that can be a catastrophic um, failure. So obviously that's a bad thing. That's probably the number one drawback or, or bad thing about a two-bladed rotor system. Um, it's less efficient. Um, the blades are spinning a little bit slower, which is nice, but you get a lot louder of a slap, a blade slap, and so they become a lot uh, louder of a helicopter. Plus, you get a little bit more vibration. Um, the helicopter tends to have a, a two-per-rev type bounce, so you just kind of a hop. And uh, if they're slightly out of trim or out of balance, um, you'll, you'll have that hop be a lot more exaggerated. So those are kind of the drawbacks of a two-bladed rotor system. Obviously the benefits um, are gonna be in the cost and the, uh, the storage of that aircraft, okay? So when you're storing a two-bladed helicopter, it's really easy to slide it into a very narrow hangar. Um, and so you can just kind of slide it into one small bay and it's easy to stack multiple helicopters next to each other. So that's definitely a big benefit. A lot of people like that. Um, and then also for two-bladed, the rotor system and the rotors themselves um, are obviously cheaper. You can have a simpler rotor system if it's a two-bladed rotor. And so you're gonna have cost savings on the actual rotor head itself and on the amount of bearings and stuff that you're, that you're replacing uh, when they come due to replace. And then also the blades, a, a variety of prices for, for blades. Uh, the cheapest you're gonna find is gonna be on like a Robinson R22 or an R44 or something like that. And you're looking at just a very base minimum price would be like 25 to 35,000 um, US per blade and uh, and that scales up from there. I mean, you get into Bell 212 blades and um, upwards from there and, and you could be spending, you know, 250,000 per blade. So um, they obviously get very expensive the more blades that you add and obviously the, the bigger the helicopter that you have, okay? So that's, I would say, the, the number one benefits, um, cost and, and simplicity of rotor head and so forth. Um, but obviously there's some pretty big drawbacks to that, okay? you typically um, don't get as much lift from two rotor blades as you would from more rotor blades. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk about three and the benefits of that and then, and then just basically more from there. So three rotor, a three-bladed rotor system is uh, typically known as a fully articulated rotor system. Sometimes it's a, a rigid rotor system depending on the design of it. And um, so you have three blades that are now distributing that, uh, that weight across the three. You get a more even rotor disc and you get more stable flight, both um, in the hover and in forward flight. Um, think about a, a two-bladed rotor system. Every time those blades come parallel to the, the um, body of the aircraft, you have now a razor's edge like this that has the ability to teeter, be unstable like this, okay? Um, if you have three blades, you always have a, a, a blade in either quadrant of your, your helicopter, and so you don't get that same lock, uh, lack of stability, all right? In forward flight, it's the same thing. The more blades that you have, the more stable that helicopter is going to be um, in turbulence and also just um, in, in regular flying. And then, like I say, when you, you have the blades um, get a little bit out of trim or balance, uh, maybe one blade has a little bit more dirt on it than the others or whatever, and you start to build a little bit of vibration, it's going to be a more even and a more of a hum type vibration than it is that, that rough bouncing type uh, vibration that you feel in that two-bladed helicopter. Uh, from a noise perspective as well, it's going to be more of like I talked about that humming sound, that humming sound, as opposed to that whap, 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 whap two-bladed rotor system, okay? Um, you get a, a, a performance increase as well. So if you have more blades, typically you'll get better performance from those blades as well. Um, it can distribute the weight over those blades better, and so therefore you can typically haul a little bit more weight with a three-bladed rotor system. And then as the helicopter gets bigger, um, 
a lot of the times they'll add more blades. Not always, but a lot of the time they will. And so you'll see um, helicopters going into five bladed systems and sometimes even six bladed systems as they get into the mediums and, and the heavies. And you know, Bell has done a really good job at, at keeping the two bladed rotor system for a long time um, into the Bell 212, the 214, um, then they went into the 412. And I think you're gonna notice that as manufacturers um, if, you, if you look at the manufacturing process, as manufacturers have gained more experience and so forth with aerodynamics, they're now tending to lean towards a, mul a, a more multi-bladed rotor system. So even Bell now um, has gone into basically four or five blades for anything that they're producing. The 505 is an interesting one for me, the Bell 505. Um, I would have personally thought that that would have come out with a three or four bladed rotor system. Um, they have the Bell 407 as a, a platform, which is a four bladed rotor system. I thought that they would, if they came out with a new Jet Ranger essentially, that they would have gone with that same type of rotor system as they have in the Bell 407. Again, I think they're trying to you know, bring the cost down a little bit and stuff and the simplicity. But personally, I think they would have done themselves a, a big favor in putting a nice four bladed rotor system on there and then having a folding kit. So that's a, something that is possible is to get a folding kit for the blades. And so you can take, if, if it's a four bladed rotor system, for example, um, you can take two of the blades and you can actually fold them back. And so it becomes a uh, essentially a two bladed helicopter when it gets rolled into the hangar. So that's definitely a benefit. Um, we just recently saw with Airbus uh, helicopters, the EC-145, or sorry, the H-145 now, now, um, has gone from a four bladed rotor system to a five bladed. Uh, they, they saw big uh, performance increases and so forth with that upgrade from a four to a five. And that's actually a retrofit. So if you had a, a, an H145, you could retrofit it with a five bladed rotor system. And uh, obviously the new ones are gonna come up with five blades as well. So as you can see guys, the um, more blades you have, technically the better the helicopter is um, for the reasons that I've mentioned here and um, you know obviously you can still have yourself a fantastic a great helicopter um, with two blades but you're definitely going to get benefits to having those three blades it is going to cost more that's always going to be the drawback and, and a lot of people buy only on cost and and not on some of these other benefits I know there's going to be um, a lot of die-hard Bell people that are watching this that are just going to just thrash on me. Um, I totally get it. I understand the benefits of a two-bladed rotor system. Um, and the nice thing is the heavier the helicopter, the less susceptible it is to having mass bumping. And so um, typically you're not going to be seeing bigger helicopters. Like a, even a fully loaded Jet Ranger is a heavy helicopter. So you don't get as many mass bumping issues in a helicopter like that. Um, and then, you know, you get into like a Bell 212 or something, um, or a, just like a Huey, like a 204, 205 kind of thing. And, uh, and it's such a heavy helicopter that you're not really uh, running into those same issues as much, particularly in turbulence. Um, but you could have the same issue if you got yourself into a low G pushover situation, okay? So, um, my apologies to, uh, to all the diehard Bell people that are just uh, two blades only, um, but the wave of the future is to have three or more rotor blades, and then I think it's gonna become more and more common to have blade folding kits on those helicopters. So you can fold them up, roll them into the hangar just the same way as you would for a two-bladed rotor system. All right, I hope this answers uh, some of your guys' questions that were wondering about this. Why are he some helicopters only two and, and some have more? Um, so I hope this makes it clear. If it does, please give this video a thumbs up. It just does me such a, a huge benefit if you guys uh, just do these simple things. So thumbs up on this video, leave me some comments. Um, you guys can hate on me if you want to, so go ahead and do that in the comments if you guys feel strongly um, in a different way about this. And if you guys have experience uh, flying multi-blade uh, system, multi rotor systems and the difference that you have uh, between the two and the, and the multi, let me know about that as well. I've definitely seen a, a big difference for myself in uh, flying the different types. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this and until next time, we're gonna talk to you guys later. See ya.